Hey guys, JP Videos and Out Naturing here. And with everything going on in the world today with the pandemic, most places are forced to shut down. The only places that are open right now are essential businesses like banks, grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, stuff like that. But we were talking, we were saying, where is there somewhere that we could go to get out of the house just to kind of take a break from everything? And believe it or not, we did find a business that's open today. And we're not sure if they're even allowed to be open, but that business is Cabela's Outdoor Store. We're gonna take a trip down there to not only enjoy ourselves, but we're gonna see if we can find out why they're open, if they're allowed to be, if it's even busy down there. And more importantly, if they're actually carrying any type of supplies that are necessary for the given situation. If you wanna find out what we discover, all you gotta do is come along with us. Right, guys we arrived we're here at cabela's in hamburg pennsylvania one of the few stores that are still open during this whole crisis pandemic situation we're gonna head inside to see how busy it is see if they have any special supplies at hand for people that are in need and just enjoy ourselves see what they have to offer as we can see in the parking lot though it's a uh, more carson than i thought it would be but maybe we'll get some answers to our questions so Let's not waste any more time. Let's go inside. All right, so we're in the store now, and one thing I'll have to check out is the aquarium. So we're gonna take a walk through and show you guys that, and then we're gonna see what kind of items they have in stock. This is one of my favorite spots here, though, because it's a completely free walkthrough aquarium. Not a huge one, but big enough to Come check out.
That's pretty cool. So if you ever want to see a free aquarium, come to your local Cabela store. I'm pretty sure they all have one. But this is my favorite one. One of the largest stores in the aquarium is top notch. Crystal, clear water, and a big variety of fish, and some turtles. Look at them swim, look at them. I think I can, I think I can. That's cool. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I can breathe again. So that's as close as you can get to being underwater with the fishes without getting wet. But uh, let's keep moving on. We'll check out the rest of the store and see what they have to offer. Oh, there's one more tank here. Let me show you these guys. That's a lot of fish. Some big suckers. So I did manage to speak to one of the employees and get some answers to my questions, which I will share later on in the video. But right now we're gonna walk around, and check out the rest of the store, and just see uh, how it looks as a whole with being open during this type of situation. As of right now, the crowds are very minimal. Just some people here and there, but we're gonna keep making our way around. A lot to see, and it's a good day out. It's nice to get out of the house and do something different, see something different. But we're definitely gonna be focusing on the camping area, survival type stuff. But right now, let's see some wildlife action. That's one of my other favorite areas. We've got a little mock jungle scene here. And these animals were all alive at one time. I remember the first time I came here when it first opened years ago. I was like, I feel like I was in like, you know, Africa safari Disney World thing. It was like blown away that a store had all this. very cool though and completely free you know you get to walk in the store check it out and there's more than this to see too but very awesome it's like dick cabela killed this elephant in 2001 that's pretty big and there's those Crazy baboons. Got the pack of tigers here running. Gazelle. Kudo. Very neat. The African lion, the pride of the jungle. the strangest creature of them all. He's known as out-naturing. He's not to be trusted in close encounters. Keep your distance. And I walked right by some of my relatives who are here, the gazelles. I gave a t-shirt made with one of them. As I spin you around, you'll see I've got a big mountain in the middle with uh, animals and a waterfall coming down. There's also a, a fish area that you can walk over and a deer room. And if it's still here up on top, I believe is a shooting gallery. So like I said, there's a lot of controversy about the store being open. I will share my thoughts later on towards the end of the video about what I think about them being open. Some people are, are complaining, you know, hating on them. Others are loving it. Oh, look at these. 
That's what you call big feet. Snowshoes, Yukon. Definitely didn't need them this year. We had about two inches of snow all year. And of course we got music playing, so I may have to do some cuts with the editing or talk over it or add some music, which I don't want to do, but got to avoid that copyright claim. Oh, look at that big marlin. Wow. Yeah, I just wanted to show you this guy. That's like probably from end to end of about eight, nine feet long. All right, so here's the center attraction. It's a massive mountain. And it's all different scenes here. Arctic foxes. You know, the rams, Arctic wolf. It's got a nice winter scene here. As we make our way around, it will change. And you also may be able to hear some water as well. Look at these Coca-Cola polar bears. Nineteen seventy. Let's see how big they are compared to me. We've got some rams up there, it looks like. Caribou, grizzly bear, and marmot. White tail doing a buck rub. It's neat how they're like suspended in, you know, like a different scenes, you know, like they're active. This North American big game display, tribute to America's sportsmen. It's a nice shot here, you can see the overview of everything. Bunch of deer, mule deers. And that one right there, you can see the size of the antlers. They're massive. Look at the porcupine. And a little tiny red squirrel. I can relate to him. I have a lot of squirrel moments. And as you make your way over, got the nice cascading waterfall in the distance. There it is. It's a really well done scene. It even smells like you're in the outdoors too. Oh, we've seen a lot of these guys. Well, at least signs of them. The beaver mills, the beaver action. Taking down the trees. And that's what they do. They build the dams. Record Pennsylvania black bear. River otter. Bighorn sheep, you? And I got a hungry bear waiting for the fish down here. I think you can actually feed them too. They have a fish food dispenser. You just can't put your coins in there, it says. No coins. I don't know if I can stick the camera in there. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe I have a little dam here, you know, keep them separated, but the water keeps flowing. And it's on the other side as well. And here's the fish food. I don't think I have any quarters. Maybe I do. Maybe we'll try it. Let's see if we can feed these guys here. Gave the fish a little snack. I feel better now. <laughs> there we get the view of the raccoons.
Oh, there's actually some fish that got caught underneath the bridge. Yeah, you see them underneath the bridge there. I'm not sure if they jumped up there or what, but... So we're getting some pretty cool shots, which we'll include a little bit later in the video. But I want to show you the backside here, which is equally as impressive. Got some pretty cool scenes here with the bears taking down, I think that's a elk or caribou. Some lynx up there in the mountain. More rams, we got the big brown bear. That's actually my thumbnail from one of my previous videos here. If you want to see my tour of this store, Probably four or five years ago, I will link it down below in the description. Got the bear up there with the beehive, he's covered in bees. Nice little waterfall. The moose. The mooses. You can say a funny joke. Boy, look at the rack on that. <laughs> I'm sure the men will get that joke. And we make our way around. We got one more scene over here. And you can tell, you know, it changes landscapes here. Mule deers, desert sheep. And look at these little, I think these are prairie dogs. Got a rattlesnake. Yeah, prairie dog. So right behind the uh, fish area, we got some knives, axes, blades, some really cool Gerber green axes, hatchets, and some turkeys, archeries back there, more knives, sharpening centers, you can sharpen knives here, buy things to sharpen knives. And they got good variety of stuff here. I am curious though to see if they are selling ammunition or not because I know Walmart in that is no longer selling ammunition from what I heard. Now look at camera versus camera. Trail cam. Excuse me. Got a big selection of guns and a lot of people looking to possibly purchase one. It's the place to be for guns, man. Everybody's here. Got a uh, gun library too. We'll give you a quick look in here. A lot of expensive pieces. You have to take out a small loan for in here. Oh, there's Dirty Harry. I feel like John Wayne in that. Jeez. Do you feel lucky? Try to fit that in your pocket. <laughs> so, all the cars that we saw in the parking lot, we now know where they are. Guns and ammo. It's packed over there. Probably at least 100 people. And uh, I'll share my thoughts about that a little bit later as well. 
But we got more to see. We're gonna head upstairs, check out the camping section. We also have the deer country and possibly the shooting gallery. So more to see. And don't forget, at the end of the video, we will share our thoughts on the whole situation at hand with the store being open, what people are doing, what they're buying, and how it's affecting the current pandemic situation. And look at these little guys here. Like my new mascot. So we're gonna hop on the elevator, go up to the second floor now where camping and uh, survival stuff is and the stuff that we're more interested in checking out. So I'm gonna take the lazy way, take the elevator. There he is. So yeah, we're gonna check out some of the supplies, some of the meals, some of the gear they have for a worst case scenario situation. This is what people are gonna be coming to buy if things get worse. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. You can make one little leg out of that. Yeah, like a mini pancake. <laughs> It's a 499 cast iron. Yeah, I don't know what so it looks like still a good quantity of stuff here. Uh, well, supplies, we got the cast irons. Oh, we got the grills, burners, stoves. You could get similar ones at Walmart for cheaper, but I'd imagine these are pretty good quality. Still got propane tanks. I don't see the other smaller tanks though. Doesn't mean they don't have them, but so this is what I'm looking for here. Oh, okay. So here's uh, the different stove tops and um, meals. I'm going to probably purchase some of these today. It's not like what you see at Walmart. Oh, look at popcorn, popcorn kettle. Wow, look at that. Ready to eat. You got grates for the fires. I'm going to get some meals here. Yeah. We're gonna pick out a few items here. We got uh, strawberry bliss. We're gonna do a ready to eat Italian sausage sandwich. Mountain chili. Forever young mac and cheese. Kind of a funny name. Chocolate mud slide for dessert. And bandito scramble for breakfast. And I got my supply of food, so let's check out what else they have here. I'm going for a whole buffet here. Oh, here's, I've seen these two. Yeah, I've seen that. I need something like this. Yeah. There's a pot section, too. Or even that. That's not bad. 20 bucks. There's some different pots for water, some cups, utensils. Look at this one. Eating tool. I like the blue cups there. And we've got some water filters, filtration kits. The walking poles, backpacks, bladders. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Not the Sasquatch, but very expensive mugs and tumblers. Nice teal colors. And other supplies here. Everything is fully in stock though. No shortage whatsoever. But again, right now, most people aren't buying these things. They're buying stuff from Walmart. They're buying toilet paper, hand sanitizers, uh, paper towels, daily food items. They're not buying survival stuff. Not to say that won't change in the future, depending on how things play out. But as of right now, this is as good as anything else to eat. So I'm perfectly, perfectly content having this. But what I want to show you here is this. The shooting gallery this is pretty cool it's uh sensors i think it's a dollar no it's 50 cents for one play is there shots on here uh that one's broken 50 cents per play though you shoot the targets they do all different things so i think we'll have a go with this we'll see what we could do i'm going to shoot at two different sections because it's pretty spread out they got a coal mining area over here on the left got the wagon 
the cabin. Another cabin. They got the the panning. The guy panning for gold. It's uh, pretty cool. So we're gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna focus on this area first. Then we'll focus on this area here. Look at the price on that. Dude, no way. It was four fifty, now three sixty. I want I, this is better be sub zero temperature. Six person dome tent. It's not bad. We got the rain fly. As you can tell we uh had to get a cart. We just got too many things to carry. And we still got more to check out, so and it's getting hot. I do look a little bit different. We did strip down. <laughs> Doing YouTube guys gone wild here. <laughs> oh, I can smell fudge. They got a fudge shop here, a general store. Oh, geez, that's like a cabin. It's quite the view. One with the mountain goats. May snap a photo or two here, and then we're gonna check out what's over here. Then we have to go back downstairs. There's a pretty cool deer room that goes behind the gun room there. And then we're probably gonna check out, get back outside, and wrap up with our thoughts on the whole reason that we're here today. So right behind me, you almost crash landed on me. Didn't even notice it. Got the uh, aqua floats plane. There's actually a pilot in there too. I forgot this was up here. But uh, well, you know, it looks like the campfire restaurant is closed for obvious reasons. It looks like they even have a cashew station here, or did at one point. Those are always really good. Too bad it's not open. And due to the coronavirus, it is closed. Mike, do you want some of my mixed nuts? <laughs> I'll be dead if I eat them, but... They're not the beaver nuts, though. Uh, I need to try those. Oh, here's some snack stuff. Maybe I could try some of this on video. Look at this stuff. 
beer bread. Is that actual food? Yeah, it's actually like dough. Look at these. Butt kicking habanero honey peanuts. Kick yo butt hot. <laughs> I might have to get some of these. Jalapeno cheddar. Reaper pepper honey. Peanuts from hell. How much are these? What is that? <laughs> That's great. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Ghost pepper popcorn. Oh, wow. I can taste the heat. Two forty nine. I'm gonna have to get some of that. What else we got up here? So fast chili. There's chili lime popcorn. Jelly beans. Here you go. <laughs> I bet that popcorn is really good. Carolina Reaper. I'm gonna get one of these. I think. I don't know. I'm debating. Yeah, we'll try these. Go for some butt kicking peanuts. Kick your butt hot. And if you guys do like heat, got quite the selection here. Ooh, what's this, moonshine? Yeah. Oh, it's hot sauce. That's a clear. It looks like moonshine. Spontaneous combustion garlic. I love garlic. Oh, look at these. They're like, it's like a little fireworks pack. It does look like that, doesn't it? Little shots. Take me with you, it says. Oh, look at this one here. It's got faces on it. Pretty clever stuff. Hey, Cliff, if you're watching, giddy up. <laughs> Colon cleaner, anal anchors, butt pucker, <laughs> flaming flatulence. Bless your heart. Hemorrhoid helper. <laughs> Butt pucker. Unreal. Sweet sauce of my yine. Let's see. How do we look? Pretty similar? And looking back down into the guns and ammo, it's still a beehive of activity, as they like to say. Like that killing fire and look. All kinds of stuff up here. I hear you could decorate a tree, make a face on it, scare your neighbors. Dream catcher, look at that. Don't think that would hold me. I'd probably be terrified on it. There's a. Oh, they changed this around. This used to be furniture in here, and now it is a little almost like a toy store. Let's see what they have in here. This is definitely new. Oh yes, I get my 4x4 Jeep. I got washer toss. A lot of these games though you could get at Walmart. Can jam, never heard of that. Reading material. I found Cliff's Magical Unicorn. Oh, is this an RC shark? Really? That would be funny. May have to pick up one of those in the future, do a funny video. Some RC off-road vehicles. Uh-oh, look at this. Now, if this came with toilet paper, this item would sell out. Toilet paper blaster, how funny is that? Not to make light of this, I mean, not to make a joke about the situation at hand with the whole virus, but everyone's hoarding toilet paper. Look at this, Mike. Toilet paper like spitballer? Yeah. I said if it came with toilet paper, this would be sold out. Oh, guarantee it. <laughs> funny. Let's see. It says try me, it's not working. There we go. <laughs> Semi automatic. Uh, what's this? Just a guy in his cork gun. No big deal. That's what you need for end of days. Doc holiday. Ooh, somebody's water. 
the caps. I remember the paper caps. I used to roll them up and hit them with a hammer. The ears will start ringing. Oh, look at this boomerang. A paper boomerang. There's a real one. No doubt I'd knock myself out with that. And what's this? Oh, wrong door. I got tricked. <laughs> you still can't get it right. So one thing I want to say is make sure you stick around to the end of the video for some bonus footage. I guarantee you're going to laugh your butt off. So we're going to check out Deer Country. And it's a pretty like a interesting exhibit here. It's all deer that were shot and displayed here. And I'm going to have to kind of make some cuts here and do some talking because there's music playing. But it's a nice little wildlife scene similar to what we see in other parts. Real flowing water though. The groundhog, deer, snake, otter. The fawn right there. The big raccoon, we have those in our backyard. And they actually have a little cabin thing too. There's a deer skull, I found one of those recently. Like I said, I'm not gonna spend too much time because it is very noisy with the music, but you could come here for your own leisure, check it out. Some of these are some record breakers. Minnesota Monarch, biggest buck of all time. With all the points. And there's one called Medusa, I believe. But it's very cool though. You know, if you like deer, if you like taxidermy, you will like this. And this is what I want to show you up here. They have a little cabin scene here with the animatronic Outdoorsman here. We'll see if he still works. Let's see. Push the button. I think he's got a slow delay. And he's got the nice little Spending fire scene. Oh, there he is. Sheds in the spring will make anyone a better hunter. And you never know what you'll find in those woods. Some of the biggest antlers ever recorded came from found sheds. Like that knife handle buck over there. They were found way back in the 60s and measure an amazing 236.8 typical points. He would have been a world record. Or the 334 non-typical Minnesota Monarch. Surely the most impressive set of match sets ever found. It looks like they're like sitting there watching us. It's like they're still alive, even though they're not. But they did a really good job of preserving them. A lot of meat on those. So it's pretty cool to see the different variety of them, different sizes. Look at this little gray fox, too. Say, I didn't think they were that small. But all right, we're going to head on out to the main part of the store, see if we missed anything. Check out. We'll show you what we got, because I did pick up a couple more items. And then we'll head back outside and wrap up the video. So I did remove all the sunglasses. Temporarily closed. So, the funny thing is they have the shooting range open where you can touch everything there. Everyone's touching it. And here you can't buy any sunglasses. So it's kind of funny how they're picking and choosing what they are allowing to be sold or touched. But we're going to check out. Oh, wait. It does not fit me at all. You found some good swag. Oh my God. I think I'm going to... Try one of these hats on. I can never find hats that fit me. Oh, there he is. What do you think, guys? Should be in the woods with this? Looks like he should be in the French Alps. <laughs> You're lay hee hoo! All right, guys, so that was a look at Cabela's here in Hamburg, Pennsylvania during a modern pandemic. A few things I want to share with you. Number one is I did speak to one of the employees and got some answers to the questions I had, which I'll share with you. She did say, uh, they think that this, I mean, she's not a representative for the company, just an employee. She said that they are considered an essential business, I guess because they do carry survival gear and other needs for, you know, surviving on your own. 
there's a lot of controversy right now, which I forgot to mention is that there's a lot of people that are mad that Cabela's is open because they feel that they're helping spread the virus because people are allowed to come here and gather in one place. I personally, and this is just my thought, my opinion, I think it's a good thing that they're open because it's a place to go to to buy gear, to buy supplies, to buy the necessary items that you need. Maybe you want to go out camping, maybe you want to go off the grid a little bit. They have the items here that you need to do that. Now, the other hand too is that they don't have anything as far as special supplies for what's going on with the situation at hand. No hand sanitizer, no toilet paper, nothing beyond their normal supply of items that they normally carry. So. I wish they did have something extra I could maybe help get some people to come here and say, hey, if you need something, this is where you'll find it. That's not the case, though. I do feel, though, that, like I said, it's a good thing that they're open. But what we discovered walking through the store is that most of the store is empty. Everybody is gathered in the gun and ammo section. As far as I know, rumor has it that Walmart is no longer selling ammunition. I don't know if that's correct or not. If it is wrong, I am sorry for the wrong information. Here, they're selling everything they have. There is well over 100 people for purchasing of uh, weapons, ammunition, supplies. That's the reason they're open. That's the why people, reason people are here. Now, if you know crap hits the fan, things get bad, you're gonna need stuff to protect yourself, to survive, and not have to rely on um, general stores like Walmart. This is the place to come, get what you need. And even if you don't use it, you have it as a worst case scenario if things were to go south. Um, I myself though did purchase some items. I'm going to share those with you quickly and then Mike's going to come over and share his thoughts uh, I showed you the food items. I'll go through them really quick. I got a bandito scramble I got my healthy version of strawberry bliss I got chocolate mudslide which Mike said is very good Next is forever young mac and cheese. We'll see if it keeps me young or not Mountain chili which I'm looking forward to trying Ready to eat sandwich, Italian sausage with sauce. And those items alone, I forgot to say, are relatively inexpensive. I think $5.99 roughly. Yeah, two dollars cheaper than Walmart. Yeah, cheaper than Walmart, and they had a bigger variety. Now for some special food items we're gonna do a review on, I did get spontaneous combustion ghost pepper popcorn. And last but not least, butt kicking peanuts. Kick your butt hot. So we'll see how those are. I did get one other item though for the JP Video Studio. Got a nice Ford sign here with a thermometer on it. I'm a Ford guy through and through. So this is going to go somewhere in the JP Video Studio. So if uh, you want to come around and share your thoughts and you want to share what you got. What's going on, guys? Um, Again, this is my only my second time at a Cabela's, and uh, again, last time I was at one was in Colorado. And to come here in Pennsylvania, see their um, Cabela's, it was awesome. It only being maybe an hour, ten minutes away. Huge store, tons of displays everywhere. Hands on with the equipment, everything. The only thing that scared me was everybody buying guns and ammo. That was pretty scary. There was everybody in the store was all lined up at the gun cases, but it was fun. I got myself some meals also. Cheesy enchilada meal. I'm gonna try to get young like Jay, eating that mac and cheese. Some bandito scramblers for breakfast. And we also got another meal for dessert. We got chocolate mudslide. So it's gonna be excellent getting out in the woods, trying these out for you guys. Hope you enjoy these. And they look a lot better than the Walmart meal song. I'm actually really, really can't wait to try these. And like I mentioned too, with the uh, supply and demand, you know, dwindling down right now, these things are as good as gold for eating food, you know? It's something different, but something that's quick and easy to make, you can take it with you anywhere. Now, this type of video that you made, is this your first time doing something like this? Yeah, first time ever doing a vlog or any type of non-being in the woods or exploring, so see how it comes out. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, definitely, I consider checking out his channel. It will be linked down below in the description. You can see his version on today. We both managed to get a lot of great photos too of the animals in there. Immediately following this outro though, I will have a little blooper reel, outtakes, and a photo montage. So you want to stay tuned for that. But lastly, I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of this store being open. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? What are your thoughts on everyone in there buying guns and ammunition? I mean, I know I have mixed feelings on it, but I do understand the reason behind it. But 
like I said, this is one of the few stores open during this pandemic thing. And whether or not there ought to be is a whole other story. I'm not going to go down that road, but they are open to the public. You can come here, you know, if you want to get out of your house for a little while, buy some camping gear, you know, make a little fun trip in your backyard. You can go find the stuff right here. But um, anyways, if you did enjoy today's video, all I ask is you please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, like this type of content, subscribe, ring that notification bell. That way you'll get alerted each time I upload a new video. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.